Whether you're sending or receiving EDI 850s, it's up to your EDI integration platform to convert outgoing or incoming EDI data into the format that works with your ERP, accounting system, or other backend system. In this example, you can see the EDI 850 data that we received from our trading partner, as well as the translated data format that my backend system requires in order to ingest this purchase order. So here is the purchase order reference number. Here's the ship to address. Here's the purchase order date. Here's the item price and here's the item reference number. You can see that the backend system requires different formatting for those fields compared with their formatting within the EDI 850. Also, note that your backend system might only require a subset of the 850 data. In this example, our backend system doesn't care about or has no place for the contact info of the person who placed the order. This is just one example of a backend system data format. Your system might require a delimited file, a database table structure, XML or JSON data, and so on. Either way, this panel will show any of those data formats if they're being used. Even though EDI transformation can be the most difficult part of your business to business transactions, there's incredible value to automating the order process, including faster order processing and turnaround times, fewer errors, and greater business partner satisfaction.